Uh, how excited? Because yeah. because I'm not sure. Yeah. Just a, mm. a, from a hip hop fan's perspective, because you're obviously a hip hop head. Um, what was I mean? Look, the night that you released your album, Kendrick Lamar disses the other two big three. Mm-hmm. You dropped a, you dropped an album. Big Sean dropped a single, and it, it, then there's this Kendrick verse that just takes over the world. Mm-hmm. What were your initial thoughts when you heard the verse? Because the, it's an amazing verse. And I'm, I'm not as excited because I don't think Drake's going to reply. I'm really excited to see what J. Cole says. But what were your thoughts, just from a fan's perspective? This motherfucker. Like, why today? This why not This motherfucker next week? waited till today. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker waited till today to do this shit. <laughs> right? But no, nah, I'm actually a fan. Like, I fuck with Kendrick. I'm a fan of Kendrick. Um, Has he ever tapped in? Pause. <laughs> it's like, are we pausing that yeah but Yo, listen but you you and i couldn't hang out too much because yeah. you would be i'm fucked up over here yeah has he tapped in it's crazy but nah he i i haven't talked to him but he's um he's somebody that i think is fire you know right. and it's like i know he's aware of me you know we have we've of course the he's, same yeah, he's yeah, yeah we have a we've worked with a lot of the same people so of course. producers and shit like that so but um yeah, he's fire. Yeah. I fuck with Kendrick. When he dropped it, though, I'm definitely like, God damn, nigga, why today you do this shit? You know? There's I didn't a, really give a fuck about what Big Sean dropped too much. Like, I didn't, that, didn't, that, that didn't really bother me. There's a fucking fly just yeah. floating in front of you. Yeah. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, I, I think uh, it's a, it's just it was just an interesting time to drop. I was like, damn. Because, you know, Big Sean's always talk about he's like the fourth guy in the big three. And it's like, bro. He, he, Big Sean said that? He's. I feel like that's always kind of been like an interesting perspective, like... You know, in the in the blog era rap scene. Like, well, you know what is a big Sean like at that time. Like he's has the time, right? Like he's around or he's made like a lot of big records. The big Sean's fire, but he's. I was saying this on the Breakfast Club. It's like these guys have been in the game for like like Kendrick, a lot Big Sean, than you, for Drake. Sure. Yeah. They all came like up pause at the same time right. you know what i'm saying so like they were all peers you're kind of like right, right after them. i'm right after them so that's this is why he feels like he should be included in that conversation you know like he could but he took a lot of time off too you know he just stopped you know what i mean like completely has there mm-hmm. been a concept for a record mm-hmm. that because you have some crazy like joints bro like i feel like you know i mean i heard you talk about it sometimes you'll come up with a visual before you even figure out the song and 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 it's it's like a real like piece of art that's like a standalone piece of art between the music video and the and the, and the record but has there ever been a concept that you came up with that you had to scrap because you thought it was a little too controversial hell yeah well not controversial but just like i've had i've had records that i've had to scrap all the time just because i felt like they just weren't like the people weren't ready yeah people weren't ready yeah like I, or not they weren't ready but the, it, the record just didn't come out the way that i thought it was gonna come out right you know that's fair it's important to be self-aware. On Sticks and Stones, you say that you think about quitting rap a lot. Uh, I feel like it's got to be a hard thing to want to leave if you love it. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, me saying that was really just... I've been making music for a long time. Before we knew who you Before were. Before you knew who I was, right. you know? So it's like, to, for y'all, it's just like... I just got here a couple years ago, but it's like for me, I've been doing, I've been making music. I was like seven, eight, bro. I've been, right. You know, so it's been, it's been a long time since I've been, you know, creating. Yeah, I mean, for sure. for, uh, years. So for you, is there like a, because at the end of the day, like with this rap shit, I feel like everyone kind of has, like, hits a wall, like when it comes to like, but I'm sure, especially for you, like it's got to be like mentally exhausting because you're so, like, your shit ain't just like, yo, let's go grab a camera and hit the liquor store. The Sticks and Stones video was the most normal video rap video I've ever seen you shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were yeah. just walking through Times Square. But I think sometimes but it's necessary. But it's perfect because it's a Conway it's record. It's necessary, yes. bro. It's like sometimes it's like going above and beyond and OD, trying to, like, do too much and trying to, like, you know, every video has to be a masterpiece. It's, like, crazy. It's like sometimes I just, like, I want to chill. Sometimes I want to just walk around and do some simple shit. Sometimes, you know, it's like I don't. And I don't ever want people to like get too comfortable with me always making this like huge music video splash. Right. You know, it's like sometimes I just want to just do shit like that's not that. You right. Know? For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Talk to me about. Uh, obviously, you've been in a couple of movies now. Bad Boys Four. The trailer dropped. Did this? Is this a direct 
uh, result of manis- manifestation for you because the real video. Yeah. Hell yeah. I got Will's yeah. book down there. Shout out to Will. It's down there. He's a legend. Amazing man. book, by the way. Hell yeah, yeah, for sure. Great book. I was gonna I say, mean, like, yeah, explain to me just how all of that how obviously he sees the video. Yeah, manifestation for sure. That's that's really what that was, you know, just me like um wanting to create a record for somebody who's like that I look up to, you know what I mean? I don't feel like just get the respect that he deserved, like even as a on a music tip, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, for sure like, on the music tip. So first rapper to win a Grammy. First rapper to ever win a Grammy, mm-hmm. like so I just felt like he didn't get the respect. He don't get the respect that he deserves. So it's like, you know, I wanted to make a record where I'm like really just giving him his flowers. You know what I mean? And and I, me and me and um, my manager had a bet. Like when we put it up, how long it was gonna take for him to see it and respond. I said it was gonna take a couple of days. He was like, Nah, he gonna hit. It. He's gonna respond in, within hours, right? And I'm like, Nah. It was just like my hero. Like so, I'm like, This nigga ain't about to respond. Right. It took like one hour, two hours. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? That nigga hopped on the net, like, yo, join her. Like, yo, this shit crazy. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, that shit. You go crazy. from playing um, him in, a, in in the video to being yeah. in part four of the movie. To, to not just being in the movie, but also like really having, you know, him as a real life mentor. You right. know what I'm saying? Where he's like an older brother for sure. Like, I talk to him a lot. You know, we make me in the studio together. Like, we. Like he's somebody I go to his house. Like he's he's a phenom- He's just he's a nigga, bro. Well, he's like mm-hmm. also like for as famous as he is, like yeah. strangely transparent and vulnerable as a man. You know what I'm saying? Which 100%. I think is important. 100%. Like, what is has there been any piece of advice that you've been able to kind of apply to your personal life or to your career that he's given you? Because he's seen it all, man. Like, yeah, I mean, one of the biggest advice he gives me, like I say, is when he say not to be afraid of failing. Like, don't be afraid to fail. You right. know what I mean? And um. That's the, everybody's afraid of failing, you know what I mean? Like, but it's like, you know, the, the, a lot of the geniuses and the brave, the people of the, the Kanye's and a lot of them right. motherfuckers, like, they weren't afraid to fail, you know what I mean? And that's mm-hmm. why they're as big as they are at pause, yeah. you know? So, um, I think that's a great, great advice, like, you know? So that's one of the things that he's taught me, but he's, he drops so much gems on a daily basis that it's like, it's just so much, you know? Yeah. It, it's crazy that you're, you're from Massachusetts, obviously. I don't know how heavy the Boston's like dialect is in Worcester, but you don't have the Ka Sta Tom fucking Brady fucking shit going on in your area. Is it like? Does the white trash sound like Ted? Well, yeah, my my <laughs> assistant he sounds just like fucking Ted. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah, Marty. <laughs> my, uh, Marty sounds just like fucking Ted. He's like the epitome of like Boston. Like he sounds like straight, ball, like Mark Wahlberg. Yes, sounds just like Mark Wahlberg when he talks. So. That's great. Yeah, 